Welcome. In this little segment, we're going to look at adding trend lines. And I have a couple graphs that I uh, created from data from the internet. Uh, this lower graph is a uh, log versus log of the original data that is above it. And this one looks like it uh, tends to be linear, so we're going to do a linear trend line. First, I select the graph. Then I go to the inspector. I make sure it's on the chart and I move over to series. At the very bottom of series I select advanced and here's the trend line option and I'm going to say linear and I'm going to say show equation and also the uh, R squared value and those are placed right on the chart and my trend line is drawn between my points and of course we have the equation y equals 3.3571x minus uh, the intercept of 4.0139 with an r squared value of 0.999 going up to the other chart that helped us confirm that this uh, is a power function or would probably be modeled by a power function. So I'm going to select this graph, inspector, and I'm over on series, and I have the advanced open, and for trend line, I'm going to select a power function, and I'm going to say show equation. And what that did is it put in the curve representing the power function, and the power function is up here. The, of course, lead coefficient is 9.68 times 10 to the negative 5 x to the 3.3571 power. So the notation here is pretty sloppy, uh, but that's the power function.